Smash said too, when he won EVO Japan and he really got into the spotlight. An entire nation of skilled players. The, since I'm Arslan Ash from Pakistan versus Ni nee from South Korea. We've seen this time and again. These two great players, and you know, the world loves it. These guys go at it back and forth. They've had different results. Most selection, Arslan with the Kuni Mitsu knee locking in the Fang Way. Yeah. This is the way. He's going to show us what he practiced and what he worked on. And you know, it's not like his trainers is to be able to emulate playstyles. Exactly. And here we go, guys. This is the boss match. First to three games. And Arslan Ash, if he can close us out. Knee locking in the Fang Way, the character that he used to win last year's Evo. Personally, I feel like his fang has been off today. He, he's got it over Nobi. Yeah. But we'll see how he does here. The run back from Combo Breaker. Sometimes you need that wake-up call. You know, they maybe had that wake-up call when they lost on the upper bracket finals. Let's see if he has what it takes here to make it a miraculous comeback for his team. This would be the craziest of comebacks. And man, he's playing very up close and not hitting any buttons now. He's letting Arsenal swing. And get caught by the down for two on the approach this time. Yeah, thanks for dashing. Alright, Arsene Ash with a nice combo here. Has the in rage at the wall. Knights gets a punish there from Knee. Defense there. And we're all caught up here. Blue stop! Oh. You knew it was coming from either one of them. And Knee gets and the first round. And we get the license plate of that truck. Fight. Bam, bam. Iron Fortress running on by. Alright, here we go. Knee with the round advantage here. I like how he's just dashing in, forcing a reaction on Arslan Ash. Didn't really work out too well in round number one, but again, towards the end, he was able to clean it up. Man, look at Arslan Ash just out poking, out pacing right now. Oni starting to use the low attacks. Yeah, it's a much closer battle in terms of space that they're playing at now. And again, you can just see how this matchup has evolved. Again, just a few months ago, these guys played against each other. And he's not hitting but the beautiful sidestep there. Yeah, I think this is really what he's showcasing in terms of his strategy and his game plan. He's dashing in, he's trying to sidestep left, predicting a big swing here from Arsene Ash. Two turns, he just back dashes away here. Arsene with the life lead as time is winding down here. He has rage now. Can we make another crazy comeback? Not looking likely here. Nice round the low three. kick string. Follow here, tied up on rounds. Yeah, Arsene does a ton of down back three with Kunimitsu. It's his primary low poke. Yeah. And again, me just playing very patient, waiting for an opening. Yeah, he's really hitting no buttons. Isn't that strange? Yeah. I think it is. I mean, it's not like it's not like Fengwei doesn't have buttons. Fengwei <laughs> has hella buttons. He is the character. With yeah. any direction, any button, you're good. But again, that 2-2 string caused him a lot of problems at combo breaker. Nice, the delay there, Arson Ash, body checking him there. Yeah, Arson opening up now, the downboard one twos, the one ones, and the two twos. He has rage now, maybe this is what he wanted, he has access to the rage drive. He might be able to go coast to coast if he gets a solid opportunity to use it. was a crazy jab on the set dash. Yeah. Risky stuff, but knee up two rounds to one. Fight. One of the great things here, Bang Wei's jab really can help control the pace and how you approach a matchup here, especially because things like the down back three, things like the down two, able to complement his offense. But that's the thing is, when is he going to turn on the offense? Man, he's it's just crazy. waiting. He's definitely throwing everyone off right now. Yeah, and it's like, how do you read these lows? How do you read these folks that come out as well? Yeah, the one one, there's a side step right. Okay, we see some anti cooning now. I got him with a down for three, and this could be game up for knee here. Yeah, if he does this correctly, he should be able to get the follow-up, and that's going to be it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the one center. this is just a tie. Yeah. Damn. Think about it. So, ideally, like, if you have a tie break, let's say knee does win this, right? Do you throw in knee again? You have to, right? Knee has to stay up, but the yeah. question for Pakistan is, do you send Arsenal for a first to two? Do you send him a Tifa for a first to two? Do you send Khan up for a first to two for the Evo run back? Two teams. Yeah, and he said he don't care about the money. He wants the trophy. Has the first game here. But here we go. Violent systems for game two against Arslan Ash. He's Round managing four. the life differential just enough that Fight. when he gets rage, he's still able to make the comeback relatively easy. Absolutely. And you know, I, I really think he is just playing reserve right now. But I think he knows that he can go explosive if he wants. He's tested it against so many players already today. If he needs to go explode, he can do it. Yeah. His offense is good enough. And he's exploding right now. Hell all yeah. over Arson Ash with the perfect. Jeez game. Louise, all over. Perfect. Um, two. Again, how do you deal with Fight. this? He was playing so reserved early on. Now he's playing in such an aggressive way. Maybe he sealed it away for round two. 
Yeah, that's the thing is, when you're playing close to Kudmich, you have to be reserved. Look at the block of the set three and the launch. Yeah, I think he forced Arsenesh with his guard that time. Like, you know, I got to start fighting back. But he was able to defensively be ready for it. Ooh. Yeah, he ducked the 2-2 two -two string. That's what he had done before. Forward 2-1-2. Two -two. Off the wall sideways. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, the follow-up here, looking to close things out. And two flawless rounds back-to-back. -back. That first one was a perfect. That second one might as well have been a perfect. Getting his teammates some hope. Chanel standing up and clapping. Oh, yeah. Chanel looking over his training partner. Yo, this is solid defense right now for me against these pokes. Yeah, and look at this. He's, the, he's just dashing in his face, waiting, trying to react here. He's not going to be able to block these lows that you can't react to, but he will be able to build opportunities where he can read the attacks here from Arsenal. Look side at the sidestep. Right. Yeah, you see the one one? He got a sidestep right and blocked. That's exactly what he did. Got out of the way of it. And it's, that's the problem with Kuni Mitchell, right? Like, you don't really get a lot of punishes when you block things, but you just have to kind of take it and again, duck in the 2 just to get a simple wild standing four punish. Beautiful vertical hot kick. That's going to be three rounds right here. Should be at the wall with this combo. He finds it, and that is that. Three rounds. From the best cheering section I've seen throughout the entire week. <laughs> I don't know. The USA was pretty good too, but yes, synchronized teamwork on yeah. the cheer. Prior to that. He builds momentum, but Arsenal he can't sleep on either. You cannot. You cannot. He, oh, yeah, I mean, yes, he can. I'm sure he can. But what does that mean? Knee has now an opportunity to have to... Round one. This is getting juicy, folks. Fight. Knee and Arthur, knee up 2-0 here. <laughs> Trying to tie this first set up to send it to a tiebreak scenario. We've only seen one other tiebreak scenario, right? Yeah. And that was knee versus USA, basically. All right, anyway, we're going to go right into this. Knee already with the lead here, gets the wall combo. Pressuring by the wall, the sidestep four. Knee never does that move. He's confident in his offense right now. That's what that's telling me. No, he just broke the seal. His offense is, was always sealed away. He is now playing like knee of old. Anyways, nice down 4-4, four, four, able to close it out. And knee is looking really strong right now. Four rounds uncontested. Yeah, and I, oh my goodness, he is looking ridiculous right now. I was going to say that was a great choice to end the round, the down 4-4, four, four, but man, straight to the next round, he's just dominating Arthur again, all the way back into the wall. Oh, nice jab check from Arsene. He's get out of there. The squid punch gets whip punish there by the Iron Mountain. The follow up here. What's he going to do? How are you going to deal with this? Knee is playing out of his mind. Oh, rage mode Arsene. He's in trouble. He's in big trouble. It's set point for Knee to tie it up and set to a tie break. Fight. He representing here from the captain position. This hard work here to tie things up and set it into a tiebreaker for his team. Oh, Will they be able to pull it off? I see Arsene starting to remember the speed tricks that he used to do. But it might be too little too late here in this set. Oh, yeah, he... How, I mean, how are you going to break him defensively? You just, you just need to take it one round at a time right now. Arsenal can still do this. Still in this. The slow and steady approach. Look at the defense. Okay, that's bigger. Wow. Sidestep hop kick. This might be it for the tie break scenario. Knee's going to take an Arsenal three to zero. And his team giving him the round of applause. Neat with the pop right there. He had to. Oh, yeah? He got 3 0 over Arsenal Nash this scenario. Who do you think? I think they send him off here. Yeah, I think you it's going to be. It's got well.